Hey everyone, welcome back to the shop. Just a short tip of the day here. Uh, when working on your Willys L and F head engines, uh, when you put your valve springs in, the tightly spaced coils need to go to the top. Uh, normally you don't have to worry about valve float until you're in high performance engine, but back in the day when they were making these, they realized they needed a progressive closing of the spring to present to prevent valve float. So if your Jeep is running good and driving around town and stuff and you get up to higher speeds and you feel like you should have more power or you feel just things are getting just a little bit weird um, your valves are probably floating uh, they won't be closing tightly you won't be getting the combustion you want and you can trace high speed issues that you just can't put your finger on to springs that are installed incorrectly and they have the coils tightly spaced coils to the bottom um, let's go take a look at one other engine here's an MB engine you can see number one exhaust I got upside down I got this guy upside down and I don't even know what that is that's a weird spring in there but as long as there's upside down springs coming through the shop, I'm going to keep trying to tell people um, how to prevent themselves some problems. So, uh, tightly spaced coils go to the top. So, that's one engine that has them in incorrectly. That's number two. That's Mark's engine. Let's go over to Hal's, which I just finished. But I took all eight of Hal's out incorrectly and if we look way over there to Gary's engine naturally um, the rebuilt engine had him in upside down as well so save yourself some trouble get yourself a very good running engine by taking the time to look at your valve springs make sure you have the tightly spaced coils to the top so just a short one today and that is your Willys engine tip of the day. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.